hi everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video i am going to teach you what is cloudwatch and how it is being used actually so this is all about a theory and in the next video we are going to have a demonstration on cloudwatch okay as i already told you so in this video we are going to discuss what is cloudwatch in a easy to understandable way okay so the first thing that we need to understand is the basics of cloudwatch so what is cloudwatch cloudwatch is a simple service basically that collects and manages your operational data so what is an operational data it can be your uh, you know cpu utilization memory utilization disk utilization and there are a lot of operational data that we can collect and this is uh, you know operational data is any data that is collected by an environment either detailing how it performs how it normally runs or any logging data it generates right so here we have uh, three terminologies one is metrics cloudwatch logs and cloudwatch events so what are metrics basically metrics collects the data of your aws products or applications or in even your on premises servers right so what are cloudwatch logs so in as usual we have logs for all the applications and everything right similarly we have something called as cloudwatch logs so basically this is a log of your aws products applications or your on premises servers okay so the third one is cloudwatch events um, basically let's say what are e event so when we create an ec2 instance the process of creating an ec2 instance is one event right so let's say after creating an ec2 instance you tried everything your next step is you are terminating an ec2 instance right so the process of terminating that ec2 instance that is also an event we call that as cloudwatch event right so based on the uh, cloudwatch events you can take action for example if i want to give an example let's say you have uh, and running a uh, ec2 instance which is which is having a mission critical application so let's say uh, someone uh, goes and terminates that ec2 instance in that situation you can write a lambda function based on that event so if that ec2 instance is going to terminate terminated state then automatically lambda should go there and start your ec2 instance back again right so those things you can do it so this is uh, the image that you are seeing it is just a, a simple uh, architecture of your cloud watch basically in the left hand side we have uh, all the aws services like e aws ec2 so if you want to monitor uh, the cpu utilization memory utilization disk utilization or if you have your custom monitoring things you can add it here right so we call them as metrics so based on these you can set alarms or actions for example let's say uh, if the cpu utilization of this ec2 instance is going uh, beyond 90% so then you can based on the cpu utilization metric you can create an alarm saying if the utilization is more than 90% go and notify this person so if you append your uh, email address in sns topic so if you do not know what is sns we are going to discuss and that uh, on that in the future videos so don't worry about that sns is simple notification service it basically so if you add email address to sns or if you had your phone numbers or anything uh, that you want you can add that there so you also have ses service simple email service you can also go and add that also so what happens if something happens so if the cpu utilization is more than 90 so it will go and trigger that alarm and also sends notification to the person that you have added in the sns topic right so also you can integrate with the asc that is auto scaling group we are going to discuss about that in future right so these things you can do it with the cloud watch so there are few terminologies that we need to understand when we talk about CloudWatch. So, so the first one is namespace. So what is a namespace? It is just a container for your monitoring data. So it acts as your container for monitoring data and it is a way to keep things separate. For example, 
so a uh, namespace has got a name uh, it can be uh, you know anything as long as it stays within the rules that aws have set right so all aws data goes to aws namespace so for example so aws has their own namespace defined already so that is aws slash service name for example if you are trying to add a, uh, if you are using a, a, aws ec2 the namespace would be aws slash ec2 so that you can see here right for ec2 instances and for all the other um, services it will have namespace available okay so namespaces will contain related metrics for example uh, so what are metrics now we need to talk about metrics so that is our second topic so it is just a collection of related data points in the time ordered structure so we call that as uh, this line that you are seeing we call that as time ordered structure so what is data points now so we have data points here what are those data points so for example uh, you can have a metric for cpu usage you can have a metric for memory utilization disk utilization network in network out there are too many metrics that you can add you can go ahead and add it okay now let us discuss about data points so what are data points let's say uh, we have a metric called cpu utilization so every time any server measures its cpu utilization and sends it to cloudwatch so that goes into cpu utilization metrics and each of those measurements so every time the server reports its cpu that measurement is called as data point so data point so for example at two o'clock in the uh, morning so it is sending some data to your cloudwatch metric so our metric is cpu utilization so from one server it is sending a metric let me take my pen tool so let's say this is our server okay and this is our cloudwatch so let's say we have a, a cpu utilization metric defined here cpu utilization basically so this server will keep on sending its cpu utilization data to cloudwatch right so those at uh, the data point is nothing but so when server is sending so the measurement it will send right so the cpu utilization how much was the cpu utilization percentage or uh, average cpu utilization so those thing it will send the, the server will send it to cloudwatch so that measurement is called as data point and data point contains two things one is timestamp and the other one is value so at two o'clock so this was this is my utilization it will send like that at will at two o'clock of uh, october 2nd 2022 this is my utilization that is 90 percent you keep this in your cloud watch like this this server will send the data point to your cloud watch so that we call that as data point so that is what i've uh, given here so it will have timestamp basically it, it will have date and at what time and the exact value so what is the cpu utilization value i've taken that as 98.3 so at this particular time the server says i my value is my cpu utilization value is 98.3 percentage right so this entire thing we call this as cloudwatch metric and this particular dots that you are seeing we call that as data points and data points contain two things timestamp and value right so cpu utilization metric could contain data from many services right many servers so this this is not the only server in production environment we can have hundreds of uh, ec2 instances so how do we separate data from this right so so if we we can collect data from all the servers so how do we keep them separate so for that we have something called as dimensions so dimensions are the name value pairs that separate data points for different things or perspective within the same metric so for example let's say you, we have two or three ec2 instances and we are collecting the same cpu utilization metric so let's say this is a cloud watch and we are looking for cpu utilization so if all the three servers are sending the same data or uh, same metric for example cpu data it is sending so how do we differentiate so what is the utilization of this server at this time 
what is the utilization of this server what is the utilization of this server so to differentiate that we go with dimension so this dimension will have two things one is uh, it it will be in a name pair a key key value pair so basically it will have name and value so in name we we have two types so it will give you two uh, answers one is instance id what is the inst ec2 instance id and the corresponding value for example if you go and check in your uh, ec2 console you will have value like this i dash and it will have some uh, you know alpha numeric characters so that will be your instance id so in the same way in it will have instance type so uh, it will be like t2.micro t2.nano t2 um, Ma macro like that you will have right so those things will be in your dimensions this will allow us to view data point for particular instance id so let's say uh, if you use dimension you will be able to find out what is the utilization of only that particular ec2 instance by filtering out you can just consider that uh, dimensions as your filters okay so that is about dimensions so that is what even I've given here in an example, uh, let's say A, B, C or R servers. So if you are monitoring for a metric of called CPU utilization, so that will be sending that will keep on sending your data to your cloud watch. So if you do not have this dimension, so if you see dimension, we have two things, instance ID and the value, instance type and the value. So if you do not have dimensions, we will not be able to separate data points for two different things or perspective within the same metric, right? So to do that, we go with dimensions. So the last thing we is alarms. So what are alarms? Based on the value that we get, right? We can take action on that. So CloudWatch allows us to take actions based on the metrics, which is, you know, done by using alarms. So what happens, let's say your CPU, you, you have set a threshold for cpu as 85 percent right so uh, what what you can do in alarm race you, you can create an alarm saying if the cpu utilization is going beyond right if the cpu utilization is going beyond 85 percent alert me to this email address uh, test at gmail.com or any email address that you give you can give like that so in alarms we have two things one is okay and alarm state in if it if the alarm is in okay state then everything is fine so we we don't need to take any actions but if it is in action state that means something has something bad has happened you just need to go there and figure out or troubleshoot what is exactly wrong with that right so if the metric uh, is in alarm state we can take actions like sending sns notification as uh, uh, you know we can also send a notification to their mobile numbers right we can do that uh, in alarms right and one more thing uh, when you uh, working when you are working with cloudwatch and the, particularly with alarm so you will see insufficient data so sometimes in your cloud watch you will see insufficient data that means the alarm is still gathering the data from your ec2 server or your uh, metrics right so that is what alarm is all about so that's it for today videos uh, today's video so we talked about uh, CloudWatch, different terminologies that we have in CloudWatch. So for the demonstration, so we need this one because if I want to explain everything in the demonstration, it will be more difficult. So what I thought is let me do a theory uh, first and then go for the demonstration. So I hope you like this video. So if you are liking the content that I'm creating, please subscribe to the channel and share it among your friends. So next video will be about CloudWatch demonstration. Thank you.